So if I haven't already introduced myself, my name is Dustin. I'm autistic. I'm in my late 30s and I live independently and I have a part-time job and it's a National Disabilities Awareness Month, Employment Awareness Month. So I do want to put a highlight that I do go to work every week and I've been pretty consistent at that for a few years now. Um, you know, I still you know, have life and issues and I have a host of being autistic and having those experiences being diagnosed over 25 years ago. So I share those experiences with you through this channel and I hope you listen to this week's uh, blog. Greetings, bloggers, vloggers, followers, and potters. Dustin here, Dustin's Dynasty with another edition of this week's vlog. This week, we're gonna talk about turning it around. And when I say turning it around, um, I talk, how can you spin a negative moment into a positive moment? And I guess for a long time, there have been negative moments in my life that have been hard to accept and hard to understand. And um, I don't, I, I guess nowadays I learned to turn them around instead of making them all about the negative. Um, for a very long time, I was very negative in many situations, some of which I could not control, some of I could, but autism is autism. And um, we always have moments that, you know, we're not going to be our best selves. We're not going to say, we're going to say what we really mean. And sometimes what we say, what we really mean, we don't think about what we say, what we don't think about what's being said before it is actually said. And uh, it turns into a, a very negative script. And um, I myself have said many negative scripts over the years, partly because at fault, um, I was led to believe certain things. And eventually I learned that those things were, were not true and not valid. And um, they were hard to process over time but eventually I processed them. But those scripts still come up in time. Um, they come up in the form of echolalia and they're hard to process, they're hard to understand. And um, sometimes you have to flip that script and um, you know think of it as turning around a bad experience that you're having at that very moment and make the best of what you can. Um, a lot of it, you know, I think is me carrying on myself and not seeing that um, being positive, it, it's hard to be positive sometimes for me because I, I want to always see the negative. And that's just the way I've been led to believe and not been allowed to see that, to think that you know, there is a pot, there is a way that life is good, even though there are struggles. Um, that, you know, there are things that I have to do to better myself and that I am the one in control of my thoughts, not the other way around. Um, you know, it's hard to think that, but um, sometimes I say things that are on my mind and I don't use my filter. I don't mask, I, I don't like them. I don't mask around certain people. And that's what gets me into an, into trouble sometimes is I don't, I say things that are hurtful to them and they're, it's not always appropriate or it could be rather damning and concerning. So it becomes very hurtful to, to that person. And I don't, and, and, and sometimes I don't realize that what I say hurts the other party and it, turned the situation into a very negative and uncomfortable situation. And I think for too long, I think people only have so much, um, so much they can tolerate to their breaking point. And at that breaking point, they can, they just lose control. They, they don't act out on it. They just don't want to play a part of it. And I think for me, I had to learn, you know, even though I may say something, I have to turn it around real quick. And what I'm thinking may not always 
being what I want to, as appropriate to be said, and that I got to turn the script around really quick on it and not make it a, you know, not let it become a big deal. Um, not let it be what rules the day. Sometimes we, we have intrusive thoughts as autistic people. Sometimes we think things and we let them things bother us for an extended period of time. Sometimes we just, that's the only thing we can think about and not being willing to let go of things that ha are bothering us or processing them in a healthier way or using necessary coping skills and defense mechanisms. Um, not using those things can be very hurtful to us and it can be proven. And I, I, for one, have been one not to use the right skills at times. And I just say what I mean and it can be very hurtful to the other party. And even though I know it's hurtful, I continue to do it and think there will never be a, 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 a re repercussions for it. And sometimes, you know, recently I learned that maybe that party had enough and they were going to take to, to, to not let me do what I had wanted to do. And I had to learn to change my script. And even though you may think that you want to say it or that, you know, that your words aren't hurtful. Sometimes when you when you're alone and you think about what you said, um, it becomes more hurtful and you have to make it right. Um, it's just, I think sometimes we say things because we too are hurt inside as autistic people and we want to be heard. And we think that saying things that are very concerning and very hurtful are going to get the attention of others, but it's going to get the negative attention. And even though we may think it it's it'll give us the attention we need. It may get us too much attention. It may raise some serious questions about how we are conducting ourselves as autistic people and whether our mental health is okay. But when we say things to get attention and we don't think about what we say, um, it just it's not good. It's very hurtful. Um very challenging um it, it it just puts a strain on on the, on those that are only trying to help us and sometimes we have to to be honest with ourselves and say what exactly is on our mind even though it may hurt for us to say what's on our mind um we're not going to get rid of the problem if we don't address what's on our mind sometimes and even though these can be some of the people who've been there through it all, thick and thin, um, we don't realize how, how hurtful our words can be, how challenging they are to the other person. And maybe that person is experiencing more than, than what they need to experience right now. And they don't need that issue of, of knowing that there's uncertainty among um, their loved one when they say things that are very hurtful and damning to them. Um, you know, that they only want to try to help, I think, in, the, in, in hindsight. Any autistic fam family, parent of an autistic loved one, only wants to help. And sometimes I think it's the tone that, that also sets up president and, you know, not... And even if the autistic person says something that is hurtful and concerning that, you know, they think that it's going to get them the attention that they want. But in reality, it's going to get them the negative attention. And it took a long time for me to see that and understand that because I just, I was unwilling to see it. I was willing, unwilling to understand that you know, you have, if you want to get positive attention or you want to bring attention to what's bothering you, just say it. Just say what's on your mind. Don't, don't do this dance around and don't call out negative attention to your, to others because 
you 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 think that's gonna make make them feel sorry for you or make them take give you extra tender loving care if they will give they want to give you the tender loving care that you need and that you know they will give um just say what's on your mind and sometimes you know i think things won't be fixed if i don't say what's on my mind and there, there's a reality that there are things that are out of my control but i think you know if i have to do the work myself and process those thoughts that are out of my control and how do i cope with those experiences and deal with them and make them the best for what they can be but for best for what the situation is um sometimes i read too deep into things sometimes um i'm unwilling to let go of things that in the past i didn't understand or i didn't totally grasp the situation and i continue to let it rule my life and overpower my life but in reality i have to understand that too that was then And I had first feelings because of X, Y, and Z, but I have to also let them go because they're no longer valid and they don't exist anymore. And I have to work at, at moving forward with the way things are now, as much as I don't, as much as hard as it can be to accept things. And it's taken a long time to accept some major changes in my life, but I know that I'm in a better spot now because I I'm working at letting go of those things. I'm working at taking care of myself. I'm working at letting go of those myths that I had a long time ago. I'm just a better person. And most of the time it is turning around those negative thoughts and making them something through cognitive reframing or whatever, whatever valid thing or theory or practice that may help for me. But mostly it is cognitive cognitive reframing that does help me in a situation that can be challenging or hard to process and hard to want to believe that sometimes we don't always get the answer that we want. And sometimes when we, you know, we think what we, we just say what's on our mind. We don't think about how it hurts others or how, It's very concerning to others when you say those things. Some of the things that I would say to, to people who are really close to me, I would never even say to some of my colleagues or people that I work with or people in day services, because I know that it would be taken more, more at heart and it would just be more challenging and more, more complex. And there'd be some, serious flags raised what i would say even though it's not true it's not valid I, i say things that are very hurtful that i think that are going to get the attention of those that love me cl the closest and i don't realize how it's hurtful and if i just say what's on my mind which i'm starting to work at it but It's a process and you can't beat yourself up over it. You have to give yourself grace in that process. Um, you can't let the, the small things that are so, well, that, that they're so minimal um, get to you and be a problem. But that was what I wanted to share this week on some thoughts that I had been pondering around what to share and I had thought some things and I've been dealing with some autistic burnout, but I seen I had a few videos on that and I didn't want to rehash that idea again. So we talked about, you know, this week, I think it's about, you know, shifting the narrative, uh, flipping the script, turning around what I'm feeling and making it a better thing through cognitive restructuring, coping skills, defense mechanisms, whatever that may be. So if you haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. I have plenty of videos uh, online if you'd like to see them over 300. If you haven't already, be sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, X, and Pinterest at Dustin's Dynasty. I'm on the web. That web address is www.dustinsdynastyusa.com. And I'm on the web. I'm on the link tree. That handle is Dustin's Dynasty. 
Again, I want to thank you for listening. Let's take care of ourselves. Let's have a great week and stay safe out there. And remember, it's okay not to be okay. Okay. <laughs>